one thing I get asked a lot is, can chickens and ducks live together? Well, we've successfully had our chickens and ducks live together for about six years now. And a few of the things that I've learned along the way is you need to have adequate space for them. So that's, you know, two to three square feet per animal. And then they tend to cohabitate pretty well. You also need to make sure to do slow incorporations with them, which if you've watched any of our videos, you know what that means. Otherwise, we have a few different areas back in our coops here. One where we have like an introduction space, which I'll show you in a little bit. And that's where we put all the new guys. And then we let them sit there and kind of live in that area for a week or two. Once they've done that, then they're okay to incorporate. And the reason for that is they kind of get to know each other at a safe distance so no one gets hurt. Another thing I've kind of learned along the way is ducks generally will um, lay on the ground at night. So you want to keep things nice and clean for them. And chickens roost up high. So they're actually pretty good to um, share a coop because they don't really get in each other's way. And generally they get along really well. You'll see random chickens trailing along with the chickens and the ducks throughout the yard throughout the day. They're kind of fun to watch. So this over here is our welcoming area. This is where we put all of our new ones, generally when they're babies, but sometimes we do get older ones. And um, I'm gonna add some new bedding in here. But we have this chicken mesh right here and that's what safely keeps them separated from the chickens that have been here longer, but yet they can also see, smell, and kind of interact with them at a safe distance so no animals get injured or hurt because obviously that would be horrible. So they know what to eat and what not to eat when they're foraging, and they'll get their nutrients while they're free ranging. So the most important thing is just to have a separate duck feed when you're starting them out when they're babies. But after that, once they're free ranging, then they can eat whatever the chickens eat. And we've never had an issue with any sort of leg development or any other nutrient-based problems with our flock. So we use these kiln-dried pine chips. They work great for bedding. We put quite a bit down all over the place, as you can see. And we do it several times a year just to kind of make sure they have clean bedding and it also makes it a nice warm environment. And since we're coming up on winter, it's super important to make sure you get all this set down before you get the first snowfall so they have a nice warm safe place to go so this is the back area of our coop here this is mainly where the ducks hang out so one thing to know about ducks is they are extremely messy chickens are a lot cleaner and easier that way the only downside of having ducks is they do make a giant mess and as you can see this is where they spend their evenings And I have had several questions from people about um, worrying about if these guys actually harass the chickens or ducks. And to be honest, they really don't. They get along with them pretty well. They do kill a ton of mice, but they stay away from all the animals we don't want them messing with. So cats are also a fun animal to have when you do have chickens and ducks as well. Um, for housing both animals together, we do have separate areas for them to lay eggs. We have two chicken, or we have three layer boxes over here. We have an additional two boxes over there. And we built them so we can just open them, gather the eggs, scoop them out. Easy peasy. And then down here, since ducks tend to lay on the ground, they lay their eggs back here. So we built the second hatch with this handy dandy lock so I don't hit my head. And here, um, Deuce, come here. And down here, I put a new fresh bedding and then this way I can access the duck eggs rather quickly. I was trying to lock my cats up for the night and they disagree with me. So anyways, this is where I'm gonna put some nice fresh bedding so then when I do grab their eggs in the morning, they aren't all poopy. And it is a nice place for them 
They tend to like to lay in the corners for whatever reason. As far as heat sources in the winter for your flock, ducks and chickens are basically the same. Ducks are a lot hardier because they don't have the wattles. Um, and they don't, they aren't as susceptible to frostbite like chickens are. But you don't need a heat lamp. You basically just need a safe, warm environment. Like I said, we do this deep bedding, which keeps them really, really warm all year, winter long. And we have never lost an animal to frostbite or being frozen to death. So basically, just keep them out of the elements, and they'll be happy and produce a ton of eggs. So that was just a few quick things about chickens and ducks living together. Yes, they can live together, very happy. Um, if you want to check out more about chickens and ducks, check out this video here.